another episode of Live Your Life with Love It. We have been called to love, not to fear. It's to love. Because in a, in a love relationship, giving comes naturally. We give because we love him. That's why I, I find it rather weird that one has to appeal to a man, you know, to give to his, his wife or a wife to give or, you know, to, uh, to serve her, her, her husband or, uh, uh, you know, parents to children. Or that's, you know, I, I, I find it weird because if, if there's love, you don't have to be, be forced to do anything. It comes naturally. It just flows freely. You are thinking of how to outgive the other person. Things no longer mean anything to you. When there's love. When there's love. So when you see a man grabbing because he managed to give the wife 20,000 to cook food that even he will eat more than half of it. With the three pieces of meat that they put for him. Eh? Something is wrong with the, with, the, with the love. Is that not so? Yes. Because when you give, that is it. Out of love, that is it. You forget it. You forget it. Love doesn't count anything. You can do so much and yet you cannot even, even remember it. So anybody that, has, that can recall that last year, last year, ah, I paid tight up, up to four times last year. Mm. Now, wow. Uh, 13,320 uh, naira. When there's love, it's, it's not possible to even, even, even count the things that, that you're doing. Because you are looking for ways to do more and more and go the extra mile. And go the extra mile. So it is normal to give to the one you love. It is normal. But the reverse is the case. It is, ab it is abnormal not to give to the person you love. And even God much more so. It is abnormal. You get it now because that is the, that's the deal. It is abnormal. It is noteworthy that the reason Jesus came is to have a personal relationship with you. When we talk about this love relationship, the essence of Christ coming at all is for a personal relationship with you. And there are some things you cannot delegate. And that's one of them. Relating with Jesus, your fellowship with Jesus is something you cannot delegate to anybody. I beg, help me, help me tell Jesus that, help me tell God that I, I love him. I beg you. Help me, help me. My brother, please, what is God saying today? There are some things you cannot delegate. I mean, as sons of God, I'm not talking about babies. I mean, you know, uh, believers, believers, <clears throat> sons of God, those who call him Abba Father. Call him Abba Father. So when we talk about giving, we also give ourselves. Because each time we are, we, are, we are talking about whatever you have as, as a steward of God's resources, you don't hold anything back. You give to God. People, all we are, we, we all our, everybody minds go, uh, goes to is stuff, you know, stuff, giving stuff, giving things, giving stuff. No, apart from that, you give yourself. We give ourselves. Because if in um, marriages and relationships, everything is reduced down to activities and things, like I said, I think sometime in January, I said such relationships or homes can be easily infiltrated. Because everything is just about things and activities. When there's no fellowship. When there's no fellowship. And that's why time and time again, we have situations where people give. They give God everything. But themselves. They give God everything. But themselves. But their heart. So a husband can say, uh, you take the car. Take the house. I, I, I gave you a house. I gave you a car. I gave you clothes. I gave you everything. But himself. A parent can say, we, we, we have put you in the, in the, in the best schools. We, you have the clothes. You have this and you have that. Everything that you need as our children. But themselves. 
by themselves. That's why many parents, many fathers and mothers have become strangers to, to their kids. And unfortunately, they will not realize that now until when, they are, when, when the children are, you know, they are growing. And by the time they begin to see some strange things happen, they will say, ah, where did this come from? Yes, it's from, it's from the years of neglect. Oh, yes. So strangers make statements like, I don't need to pray. I just sow my seed. My seed is working. Those who are praying, they don't, uh, they're not sowing well. If they are sowing well, they don't need to pray. <laughs> is that not so? They don't need to pray. When I'm sowing seed, what's the point of praying? Hmm? My seed is speaking. Why will I have fellowship with God? Why will I have fellowship, spend time with the word and prayer? It's not necessary. My seed is speaking. My seed is speaking. Wow. But this is a call to give him you. Not only your money and your stuff. Not only your time. When I mean time, your whatever skill, whatever department you are working in. Not just that. Give him you. I said this some time ago. I said it is, it's, it's more important to know the Lord of the work than, than just the work of the Lord. Hello? Mm -hmm. It's very important. So don't look at it as I'm just coming with activity, activity. Oh yeah, bring the bring chair, bring speaker, bring mic, bring oh yeah, yeah, call, 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 let's go everything. No, 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 no. Who are, who are you doing it for? Do you know him? That's the question here. No amount of money can buy you fellowship with Jesus. No amount of money can buy you fellowship with Jesus. No. <laughs> wow. And that's why you should be mindful of um, things that interfere with your relationship with Jesus. Things like, you know, certain distractions. Even like sin. Thank you for listening. We do hope you have been blessed by those wonderful life transforming words. Join us next week for another episode of Live Your Life with Love It. For more information, log on to our website www.liveyourlifeinternational.com. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Live Your Life International. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Live Your Life with Love It for more powerful messages. For prayers and counseling, call plus 234-8032-957161 or plus 234-8055-418986. Call and WhatsApp. You can also send your questions to loveitministry at gmail.com. Live your life, life according to God's purpose.